Well, it was a big day for northern grape growers. Yeah, cold, hardy wine aficionados and experts gathered to judge wines from this rapidly growing part of the wine industry. Molly Rosenblatt takes us to the University of Minnesota's International Cold Climate Wine Competition. Kind of an oakiness, I guess. From Chardonnay to Cabaret, this group of 20 judges from across the U.S. and Canada are here to find the best of the best, all of them passionate about both growing wine grapes and enjoying the fruits of labor. I'm a private grape breeder, I'm not in it to make money, just as a, as a hobby. So I've been, I've been around Northern Wines for 25 years. A total of 350 different types of wine are blind tested with each judge testing 50 of them. Not like burnt sugar, but almost like baked sweetness in the nose. The annual competition in its eighth year is at the forefront of the cold hardy wine industry. They gave it a bronze. Judges say competitions like this benefit both the grower and consumer. You're asked to pay $20 for a bottle of wine you've never heard of, never to know anything about. But it got a medal in a competition. You're willing to try it, I think, much more so than a totally unknown, unmentioned wine. Experts say cold hardy wine has come a long way in the past 15 years as far as taste, specifically acidity. It's just having more and more experience. So we have newer wine grapes that produce lower acid wines, and then we have winemakers with much more experience making those wine styles. In this cutting edge and rapidly growing industry, the progress is a welcome boost for local wine lovers, vineyards, and wineries. This industry is growing and getting better, better varieties, better winemakers. Fun. That was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed fun. that. And the winners have not been released yet, but there are 131 wines from Minnesota in the competition. It's pretty exciting. That is really yeah. neat.